Let me just it takes a lot to look this normal. I've done a couple covers now, so like I'm getting used to it a little bit on like, uh, you know, just how to move and been very comfortable in my body lately. I'm trying all kinds of different things and sometimes, you know, when you're um, first starting, you feel like you'll never get this opportunity again, so you're like, you're doing everything all at once or you're putting on too many accessories, you know, it's like, you, you look like a garage shell sometimes. And so I've decided, even though I do like garage shells, you can take one thing off and make it look more about, you know, the whole deal, the whole look rather than mm -hmm. like everything and the kitchen sink on you. It's Talk all a things. learning process, of course. I love who that, who that was then and I, I love who I will be in 10 years. Uh, uh, I'm happy or else I would uh, change. Well, I feel very comfortable in my skin. I'm obviously in um, a healthy relationship where, you know, there's someone I can really lean on and supports me and makes me feel beautiful. And so I, I get to wear less makeup, which is good, good for my skin, the whole bit. I guess it's like I'm finally becoming a woman. I'm 25 now, and mm -hmm. that doesn't mean like I lose my edge or lose like my sense of humor. I think it's just like more... Uh, time says the humor or um, it's more specific mm -hmm. or I don't know it's just it's just a different version I feel like an I Love Lucy character a little bit but I have style icons that I really love like Betty Page and Chloe Sevigny and like Dita Von Teese and Agnes Dent Liz Taylor I love Liz Taylor we're kind of like recreating that today is we're doing like this whole Liz Taylor vibe so we added like an extra layer on my eyebrow because she has those amazing eyebrows. She just looks so pretty and innocent and um, Judy Garland just kind of like those uh, cute but really strong featured uh, women mm -hmm. in old Hollywood films. I'm comfortable in my skin maybe things are a little bit sexier and um, sultrier and mm -hmm. uh, there's still a, a spot of kooky here and there, yeah. for sure. It's not all just like sexy time. <laughs> this is going to be my second cover okay. for Cosmo, which is exciting. They said that the first one did really well, and that's why they've asked me back, which is great. Um, but I love being, I love representing women because when I write my songs, I mean, that's the perspective I'm writing from. And a lot of girls relate, women relate, you know, female and male, they just relate, I think, because what I'm trying to do is you know, connect with people on a very honest level, whether it just be a fun little song or whether it be an anthemic, uh, you know, story that people adopt as their own and they feel empowered. So I write a lot, though, from a woman's perspective, and, and I know this being a woman's magazine, we get along because they say it straight, you know, as it is. You see on the cover there's, like, things that will horrify your grandmother, but us women need to know that stuff. So that's why I'm on it again. I've always really tried to like nurture and protect the core and make sure that all the bells and whistles weren't taking over the real reason why I'm here. Although those bells and whistles are so fun. And um, you know, I, I love all that extra stuff like photo shoots and getting made up and um, you know, having wonderful times with my friends and and, and just getting to do these larger than life things. I don't want anyone to walk in and say, oh yeah, Katy Perry, what does she do again? You know, I just want them to know, you know? Mm -hmm. And I want the music to be like the main focus at all times. And I think that this record has even more perspective and more stories. And I think people are asking me, well, since you're in the spotlight now, do you think you would close up a little bit more where you wouldn't be so honest? And really, I think that I'm more honest on this record, it's definitely like the black box of who I am. Yeah. And not in like a dark way, but that's just kind of like another way of saying, if you want to get to the complete center of me and my convictions, my love, my anthems, my pain, my, you know, all of my emotions, it's definitely embedded in the lyrics.